A is this two cross two matrix. If A inverse is alpha i plus beta A, where alpha and beta are real numbers and i is two cross two identity matrix, then we have to find the value of four alpha minus beta. Now, this is a very interesting problem from Cayley Hamilton theorem. So, first we'll write the characteristic equation of this matrix A. We know that the general formula to write characteristic equation for any square matrix is determinant of A minus lambda e equals to 0. That means from diagonal elements, we'll subtract lambda and then equate the determinant to 0. However, for 2 cross 2 matrix, there is one direct formula also to get the characteristic equation. And the formula is lambda square minus trace of A into lambda plus determinant of E equals to 0. So, if we use this formula, then for matrix A, the characteristic equation will be lambda square minus trace means sum of the diagonal elements. So, this will be 5 lambda plus determinant of A is 6. So, this is the characteristic equation for matrix A. Now, using Cayley Hamilton theorem, in place of lambda, we can write A. So, we will get A square minus 5A and we have to multiply this 6 with identity matrix. So, plus 6I equals to 0. Now, let us call this equation 1, right? Now, the given equation is A inverse is alpha I plus beta A. So, here we will multiply both sides with matrix A so that we can get a polynomial equation in A. So, if we multiply this equation with A, then A into A inverse will be identity and on right hand side, we will get alpha into A plus beta into A square and we can rewrite this equation as beta into A square plus alpha into A minus I equals to 0. Now, let us call this equation 2. And now, we will compare this equation 1 and equation 2 to find the value of alpha and beta. Now, if we compare 1 and 2, then beta by 1, this will be alpha by minus 5 and this is minus 1 by 6. The coefficient of A square E and identity matrix will be proportional. So, from here, you will get alpha is 5 by 6 and beta will be minus 1 by 6, alpha minus beta will be 1, we had to find 4 alpha minus beta, so obviously this will be 4 and the correct answer for this problem is option D.